Okay, everybody, Gerard here with FX Life Daytrading.com. So, um, I felt it was a, a good time to do a video here. And uh, since I'm trading and um, we had a really neat uh, traders gathering, um, did that in the Bahamas recently, um, haven't been doing a lot of videos. So, I wanted to uh, just get started, get back on the world put some videos out there um there was some people that did uh join the trading room the trading room is not open so we went ahead and sent them um refunds and uh web designer forgot to take that link off but um join our mailing list and when the trading room opens up again you will get an email okay um so let's get to it here i am loading the boat on the spx 500 doing that on options and yes it is a very risky trade um but at the same time i'm just gonna you know do it and uh, the reason is i i think we do have a possibility to see a little retracement here before friday's close um gotta remember we can also pop up here and and just run stops and rock it to 34, 39, 34, 30, give or take. Um, so sometimes you do see that rocket up before you do see that aggressive move lower. Um, sometimes everybody's expecting it to pop and then drop and it never does pop. So these are one of these tricky scenarios and it's not the type of trade that I would recommend people who are new to trading to go ahead and you know do so that's where we are here and i just want to go over a couple uh candles and show you that so far at least for today 8 18 2020 we do have the downside in favor at least now i mean it's 10 17 a.m we have a lot left you know we have almost six hours left before the uh, markets close a lot can happen in six hours come on so we had that move up here we did get the uh, earnings out this morning that um, the revenues of walmart the online revenues at least increased 97 percent that skyrocketed that stock higher of course that was advertised before the market opened on cnbc so i think traders um you know maybe rushed to cover some of their positions um that they had but i, I gotta tell you I don't see this as any type of an initial squeeze on the opening. So we may be getting to a point here on the um, stock markets that, um, you know, the, the short to long ratios are changing a bit. I think that we have now a lot more people that are just staying on the sideline in cash, waiting for a move one way or another, where this time last month you did have a considerable amount of shorts and uh, many of those now have been um, exhausted so from a daily uh, trading standpoint we're looking bullish i don't know how long this is going to last but um i mean this is a 15 minute chart here and you can just see we had that reversal candle um, and then a follow-up reversal candle a pop through this trend line and then some buying on the trend line and right now little bit of buying and you know this is really micromanaging the trade if we jump up to the to the uh, one hour chart you can just still see that it's setting up for maybe um, some moving average crossovers to come into effect and kind of looks like we may make our way down to the 3350 by the time Friday comes around who knows I'm not sure nobody really knows for sure but hey I loaded the boat on some options. Um, this would be the SPY options. And uh, let's see how they turn out, okay? Um, just be sure that if you're gonna go ahead and, and dabble in things like options, that you exactly know and understand what you're doing and the risk involved. Um, that's about it. I'm gonna get back to trading here. It's 1019. Um, go ahead and send an update a little bit later in an email form and um we're going to start our official uh you know new uh, customers as far as uh, trading we're going to do that at the end of uh the end of august so 
Stay tuned. Everybody have a nice one, and I wish you the best this week in trading. FX Live Day Trading, if you like the video and helped you out, give it a like. Bye.